Hi everyone, welcome back. And so for today's video, I just want to talk about a bag that I recently purchased from Coach. And it's this cute little bag right here. This is the Coach Tabby Chain Clutch. And this is actually a slightly newer version that Coach launched. This is, um, I believe, like launched around like, the holiday season. It's in the color chalk with brass hardware. Comes in other colors too, I'll talk about. Um, but if you are interested in a detailed video about this cute little bag, please do stay tuned. Also, for full disclosure, I do currently work for Coach as a sales associate. However, all the bags on my channel are from my own personal collection, and I was here to share with you guys my personal love for handbags. And if you guys do like these kind of videos, please do consider liking and subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram as well for more handbag-related content. Um, and really fast note too is that if I do sound a little bit weird today, it's because I bit the side of my tongue while like eating something, and it really hurts. So I'm just like not. I'm trying to like avoid having my tongue like whack the side of my teeth so if I do sound a little bit weird today it's because I'm trying to not hurt my tongue anymore so that's why. So when it comes to the tabby chain clutch um like I said this is a slightly newer model so it isn't like the standard flat like traditional wallet on chain this one is more of like a mini bag so on the front of the bag here it does have the iconic C buckle here on the front where it's the um, like brass hardware for the tabby and as you can see this particular style is pretty minimal in its design there's not a ton of hardware um, really the hardware focus is going to be on this brass C buckle on the front and you can definitely tell the bag is a flat style closure and then you can also see the outline for the pocket as well with the, which is around the border here and then on the back it does feature a slip pocket with a little bit of a scooping detail in the middle and it is lined in microfiber and for this particular color um, combination it does feature the honey microfiber material on this side here and also on the inside as well on the sides of the tabby chain clutch here you'll notice that it does have a different look than the traditional wallet on chain one this one does have a wider base so you are able to fit in a lot more items and it's also just one compartment as well and here is the other side of the bag this one does feature a little hang tag and you can definitely get that monogrammed and on this side here it just says coach um new york and then it does have a little hidden d-ring so if you did take off the um, like crossbody strap here you can definitely carry as a little clutch and it looks super seamless because the d-rings are hidden um, but that is where the strap and the hang tag attaches and like I said too the um, size of the bag is going to be like a lot larger so here's the bottom of the bag and it doesn't have any feet however the way the bag is constructed the seams are going towards like in the bag so with that um, it does have kind of like these like feet here in a sense um that so when you set the bag down it supports the bottom of the bag and it's not like touching the ground so that's pretty nice crossbody strap here is going to be a combination of half leather and chain so on the two sides of the bag here it does have brass chain hardware and then in the center is going to be the leather portion of the strap what's really nice about this particular style is that the shoulder strap is going to be adjustable with the leather portion um, traditionally when handbags are designed with a chain leather combination um, typically the leather portion isn't adjustable however coach was really nice in making this particular style adjustable so you do get seven adjustments here with a small brass buckle to make the strap longer or shorter to desired length so that's really nice and for me to have this bag as a comfortable shoulder bag or crossbody I just went ahead and maxed it out at the last setting so um, it's really comfortable so if I like want to switch between carrying a crossbody and over the shoulder it's um, not gonna be a big deal so I just have it at the longest setting and here is a closer look at that um, strap there for you and then it does have these um, clips here that attach onto the bag like so so getting into the inside of the bag all you have to do is slip the flat closure and it is magnetic and it does have a large base here on the front of the bag and underneath the C buckle and you'll notice that this is blue because um, I still have the protective sticker on the bag so that is just there um, but typically this entire piece here will be brass and you'll notice that there is a front pocket too and it does have a cute little scooping design as well that ties in with the back of the bag and it is going to be leather here on this portion 
section of like the body of the bag and then the opposite side is going to be in the honey color microfiber the interior of the bag again is going to be lined in that fabric material that soft microfiber on the flap and interior you actually get credit card slots that's built in which is really nice so if you did want to downsize a lot and didn't want to carry a card case with you or a smaller slg you can use these card slots to put your items in which is really cool and then you also still get a zip pocket too which i think is really great and it does go the full length of the bag and it's a very generous pocket that's lined in fabric right now i just have the care instructions and the little price tag hidden inside like so and it is a metal zipper which is really cute and then on top of that zipper you have a little story patch um, but other than that it's a very simple layout and the interior is super spacious because it doesn't have a divider uh, which is awesome so now i'm going to share a quick look at the older tabby chain clutch and this is from the holiday collection in 2019 and this one is going to be gold with brass hardware and here is what the bag looks like it definitely does look pretty like similar to the um, newer models however there are a lot of design differences so first is going to be the bag strap itself it is a combination of chain and leather however the leather portion on this bag strap is not adjustable so it is just going to be one setting and then the hardware on this bag too features o-ring hardware so it does have um, a little bit more of like a statement hardware on the sides here versus the new one that has the more hidden little d-ring and then on the interior, it does have a lot of updates as well. So on the side here, you get card slots with the new one. And then the back portion is going to be a zip pocket versus a small slip pocket. And the biggest feature is going to be the middle section here. Um, the old ones had this like the non-functioning divider in the middle. And it basically is just a panel of microfiber. Um, and I don't really know why this is here because... I guess it was like originally helped to like organize the bag but also give it some structural support I guess um but obviously they were able to do away with it so now it's just one large spacious compartment which I really like so this is now removed you get credit card slots on this side and then a zip pocket on the back so that is the um it changes to the tabby chain clutch so now I'm going to do a quick size comparison between the Tabby Chain Clutch, which is this one here, and the Tabby Shoulder Bag. And this one is pretty old as well. I want to say this is from the summer of 2020 and it's going to be in the color chalk with the signature canvas as well. So here are the two bags next to each other. And as you can see from the Tabby Shoulder Bag to the Tabby Chain Clutch, there is a good size difference between these two bags. Um, however, they do look the same aesthetically. So featuring the seat buckle hardware and the flap style closure as well. The only main difference is that with the tabby shoulder bags here, you do get um, a cross by strap and also a shoulder strap as well. I just have mine like, tucked in here and then you have a little zip pocket in the middle as well. And the very last comparison too I just want to make is going to be between the bandit crossbody and the tabby chain clutch and I feel like these bags look very similar when you have them like in mind being like small compact crossbodies with C hardware. However there are a lot of differences and I feel like those differences make each bag a little bit different. Um, the bandit here is going to be a little bit more casual. It is going to be a little bit more edgy as well with black and silver hardware I feel like it has a modern feel to it and I also just love the full grain leather I think the shine on this leather looks fantastic and then the tabby chain clutch definitely has a more dressy and elegant appeal to it just because it has a very refined look in my opinion um, and also the brass and the chalk hardware too definitely play off of each other really well and then the part chain and um, leather strap too definitely gives it that dressy look so just want to make that quick little comparison between these two bags. So now I'm going to show you guys everything I'm able to fit in the tabby chain clutch and I will say it is a small bag but I feel like it does hold a good amount of stuff. Um, so first is going to be my phone and this is the iPhone XR which I've used forever and it's fairly comparable to my current phone right now which is the iPhone 13 and then I have this little card case which I can pop in there nicely as well and like I said too because this bag does have card slots you can completely do away with the extra SLG so in this instance if I did use all the card slots I didn't need to carry the card case with me and last is a small chapstick which I'll just pop here on the side and here is what 
what everything looks like and you'll also notice there is a gap too so I can put something small in here like my keys or another SLG if I want I guess um but here's everything inside the bag and I can definitely close it easily as well and the magnet is very strong so it's not going to like undo itself as you can see and then here is the sides of the bag and the top and there's no warping or distortion of the bag which is awesome so there's that so my first impressions of the tabby chain clutch in the color chalk with brass hardware is that I love this little bag a lot and I feel like for me what made me really gravitate towards this bag is definitely the updated design changes. Um, definitely with the interior being just one compartment now I feel like that is really great just to put all your items in and on top of that too I really never loved the original tabby wallet on chain bags just because I felt like they were just um, not very practical for my lifestyle. I love the idea of them, but I just felt like the way the bag was organized with so many compartments and that it was relatively a flat style handbag too. I just felt like that was never practical for me. Um, however, with this new bag here, I am just really happy with it. Love the, again, central compartment being just one open space. And then the card slots too are more hidden on the side. Um, if I'm being honest, I probably will never use these card slots, um, so I'll always carry a small SLG of some kind, so a card case or a compact wallet. Um, however, like I said, because it is, you know, one compartment, I'm able to fit all my items in there, so phone, keys, a chapstick, and the card case is really nice, and it's just so cute. And then again, with this little zip pocket too, I can organize, I guess, if I just left a pocket open and just pop the card case in there. So, love that a lot. Another thing too I totally forgot to mention is that you can definitely put a card case in this pocket as well. Um, so here is a card case in that front pocket. I'm able to close the bag very easily as well. Um, and that card case doesn't look too bulky either, so that's really nice. Just wanted to point that out. The other thing too I really like about this cute little bag is definitely the color combination I picked it in. As of right now, it comes in three different color combinations. There's black with brass hardware, the chalk and brass hardware, which is this one, and then sport red with brass hardware, so it's a really bright, punchy red. Um, but I decided to go with chalk with um, the gold hardware here because I don't have a lot of bags in this color combination in my collection. I was taking a look around and I have a lot of small bags that are in like really like really fun bright colors and then I have more classic pieces in either black or signature canvas um, but I didn't have anything in this chalk color um, that was like solid chalk because um, the other thing too I'd have is a lot of like multicolor handbags so it'd be like chalk with the signature canvas or chalk with taupe um, just not in this like pure chalk color here and I just thought this would be really cute and elegant um, just to have a solid chalk clutch in my collection um and i also do have a couple of trips to planned for 2023 so this would be a great vacation bag as well and that will lead me to my third point is that i feel like i will be traveling a little bit more in 2023 which i was already shocked that i was going on so many trips in 2022 um but i do feel like i am going to go on a couple more trips um, next year so I feel like getting this bag would be a great addition just for traveling and stuff um, because it is that wall on chain style um, so it does fit really compact in luggages and stuff but again it does have a lot of ample space that I can put my stuff in so I feel like this would be a great little travel companion going on trips and stuff for next year so really excited to use it. That's going to do it for today's video for the Coach Tabby Chain Clutch in the color chalk with brass hardware. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful if you were interested in a review of this bag or at least like a first impressions. Um, but if you did have more questions, just leave it down in the comments below and I can definitely try to help you out that way. Or you can also message me on Instagram as well and I can help you there. Um, but if you did like today's video, please do consider liking and subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram too for more handbag related content. Um, but other than that, guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye!